Hey everybody, this is Amy here and today we're gonna do another fun project. Um, this is a little bit of diorama art. So let's get started today with our um, African savanna. So I painted uh, the ground and the sky, made it like a sunset sky. And let's see, I'm going to start. Um, I found some little animals that I'm gonna put in, in my savanna, some giraffes and elephants. I pre-cut some yarn for grass that I'm gonna put down. I found some rocks that I'm gonna to add to my savanna. Um, and then I'm gonna make some trees. I have some tissue paper, some felt, um, and some cardboard. So let's get going. When you're making a diorama, as you can see, my mountains in the back are smaller. It's because they're farther away and in my background. So things that I'm gonna put at the front of my diorama, I want them to be a little larger and things that are in the back a little smaller. So my tree is quite large, so I'm gonna stick that at the front of my diorama. My animals are a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna stick them probably closer to the middle, somewhere in the middle of my diorama. We're gonna add some grass now for some texture. So I'm just gonna paint some glue on the bottom with my sponge. And you can add as much or little to your scene as you want. But there's a basic uh, diorama, African savanna. I have a tree, some animals, some grass, lots of texture. It's totally up to your imagination how you want to make your diorama. See what you can find around your house and grab a shoebox and put together your cool dioramas and send us a picture. I'd love to see how creative you can be in making your diorama. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.